Hey everybody and welcome back to Investment Honey where we talk about various crypto projects. Before we begin, I want to let you know that I'm not a financial advisor. I do not provide financial advice on the channel and I don't even encourage you to invest. But what I am going to do is share with you my own personal opinion and views on the projects discussed on the channel. So that's it. We're looking at Ever Seifu V2. So uh, this project did have an audit that passed with no higher medium severity issues. They did have a successful Pre-sale on pink sale, we're going to take a look at that. Team's not photodoxed. Uh, it did get a pink sale KYC, and we will certainly take a look at the chart as well. So looking at the uh, pink sale pre-sale, you know, so we see um, a KYC in a badge. So like I said, they did get the pink sale KYC. Uh, we see that this was just a regular pre-sale, not a fair launch, you know, so... Um, it had a soft cap of 125 beans and a hard cap of 250. It was went to, uh, public, you know, so minimum buy was 0 0.1, max was 2.5. I prefer, you know, sitting at one on the max contribution, but this one is 2.5. Just feel like, you know, anything more than one is just, you know, means heavier dumping. You know, but you guys, if you've uh, heard me talk about this on some of my other videos, you guys know how I feel. You know, nothing more than one, one and a half, you know, for max contribution, but that's just my own personal opinion. So we can see that the pre-sale rate, you know, was 434.38 unit tokens, and at the listing rate on Pancake would have been 392, so you definitely received a better rate going through the pre-sale. Uh, and then we can see that uh, liquidity lockup time, you know, one of the concerns here is that, you know, you only get 20 days, right? So uh, real, real short, you know, on the liquidity lockup time, not real sure why it is so short. So, um, and then we see, you know, 35% um, here on the pre-sale tokens, you know, and nothing really concerning there. However, not really sure why we've got 33% you know, tokens unlocked. So definitely don't like to see it, you know, that high. Um, moving on over to the white paper, we do have some documentation here that should you be interested in the project, you should definitely take a look at. Because on this channel, we don't encourage you to get uh, we, we get involved in tokens. We don't encourage you to invest, but we do encourage you to get informed. So uh, before you do anything concerning any participation on any project, obviously it's still your call, but uh, I certainly do not invite anybody to get involved in crypto. It's just so, so crazy volatile, you know, and you really need to make sure that you are doing your own due diligence, you know, to make sure that you get informed about a project. It ain't about listening to me or any other youtuber you know to you know, take your your green signal to, as far as you know whether you should jump into a token or not um, you know for me I go ahead and I put this content out here because it's all about trying to give you some information but also encouraging you to get informed so I get it that you're engaging with crypto related content but you know reading through the documentation that projects do put out it is extremely important so moving forward uh, this is what the chart looks like so we can see uh, that were just over 700,000, you know, on the market cap. And we can see that they had a successful, you know, uh, launch here, consolidation down, and then the leg up here climbing up. And then we can see basically right here, you know, red candle, but, you know, um, it's basically, in my personal opinion, would be people just taking profits because obviously you don't really get a big, I mean, you get a candle here, you know, but you had a, they, they had a pretty good, you know, ride up. And uh, at this point, it makes sense, you know, you can't continue to, to, you know, climb like that without people deciding to take profits to mitigate risks and so forth. Um, so whether this, you know, we'll have to see if this is going to, is this, if this is going to head back upwards, you know, but this is just where the chart is at, you know, right now. So um, let's see here. Taking a look at the rest of the website, it says here, Eversafe Foo version V2 ES2 provides a decentralized financial asset that rewards users with a sustainable and fixed compound interest model through the use of its unique ASAR protocol. And then we get a buy button, chart button, and financial overview button here. Get a DAP button and white paper link here with along with some socials. So moving forward, we can see price, market cap, burned, and holders. Rebase is going to happen in 12 minutes, 38 seconds, and we get the pre-sale link here, takes us over to pink sale, and then some information about the token. That's basically an auto-reflection, auto-staking, unit you know, protocol, so we've gone over those in the past. Uh, the ES2 team has created this token with key concepts at its core, community-focused token ecosystem, open and honest, communication between team and holders, and transparency above all else. 
And then we see easy and safe staking, BUSD, dividend, fastest auto compounding protocol, auto token burn, and highest sustainable APY. And then we see the tokenomics. So what's going to what? We see 2% on the buy and sell side, unit you know, for liquidity, and then BUSD rewards, you know, 5% and 7%. Treasury, we see two and a half and two and a half. And the auto fire pit, we see four and a half and four and, five, four and a half. Now, we don't usually see it laid out this way, but that's the way it's laid on this project. So it says featured on, and then it lists a number of different entities there, our AMAs. And then you can play the button or hit the play button to listen to uh, their AMA in the Roots Crypto Lounge. And then we see on the roadmap, you know, white paper, private sale, social setup, once you know, launching the website, V1 of the DAP, you know, pre-sale, pink lock, uh, AMAs, and then you can keep moving on. Um, but let me also highlight that, you know, they have checked off things that they have already done. So here that hasn't been checked off because it doesn't look like, you know, the pink lock is, is, is enabled yet, at least not based on the roadmap. And uh, let's see here. We also see Twitter campaign, YouTube campaign, CoinGecko, CoinMarketCap, more EMAs, releasing the NFTs uh, and staking. You know, so none of that's been completed, um, but they have been listed on some coin listing sites. So, and that's it from the roadmap. You know, so there's a lot that can be done in terms of the roadmap. I personally don't really care for the layout of the roadmap. I like a more traditional setup, you know, where you get the phases, you know, and you can kind of expand a little bit more, you know, what's going on, you know, in the roadmap. So not really a fan of this roadmap, you know, but that's just me. We also don't know how far out this roadmap's gonna go. We don't even know where they're at in terms of development of the project, you know, right now. We have no idea, you know, so we just get a list of things they're doing, uh, but we do get some check marks, you know, what they've already completed and then the access for things that they haven't. And so we see a comparison between Eversafe Foo versus Eversafe Foo V1 and uh, Safe Foo. So, uh, you know, again, it's not to necessarily say that one is better than the other, but it's just a data comparison chart. And we're all familiar with those. So advantages explained, it gives you that here. And the team obviously is not photodox, you know, as I mentioned before. But again, they do have that pink cell KYC. So there is that, right? And uh, that takes us to the end of it. So I don't have anything else to add on Eversafe V2. Um, you know, like I said, it's a launched token. So if this is something you're interested in taking a look at, make sure that you take a look at the documentation and get into the community so that you can develop your own signals, do your own evaluation assessment beyond anything I've shared here in this video. Because again, it's your call uh, so that you can direct your steps in terms of any level of participation that you may be considering taking concerning this project thank you guys so much for continuing to keep up you know with the channel and the content being released i appreciate you guys continuing to support the channel um and by all means please share you know the channel with people that you may know that may be uh, interested in crypto so with that said i'll leave the links in the description below and you all enjoy the day